go. Hi, I'm David Gonzalez. I'm Brandon Pinter, and this is the Widowmaker Mark I. Um, our project uses the vibration sensor. Um, what we used the vibration sensor for was to detect the vibration coming from our target, as you can see there. And the, vibra or the vibration sensor will produce a voltage that will come to our next board. Um, we use the A to D to read in the voltage. Our next board will determine whether the voltage is either too high or too low. Um, if it is at the maximum or minimum, it will output a signal to our, well, both our catapult and our relay, which we're using the relay to provide power from an outlet to pretty much power anything we want. Um, I'm using it to power my laptop right now, so when it does trigger, it should turn on my laptop. Um, in order to activate the relay though, we had to use an amplifier so that the relay would trigger because the Nexus board only produces 3.3 volts and we needed 9. And then, and then from there we have the Nexus board producing a square wave to operate a servo that's latched onto the back of this um, catapult contraption that uh, we built uh, using some PVC, some springs, and some good wood. <laughs> so I have to go ahead and uh, tie it up. So which way should I point it, be pointing here? <laughs> the bad thing about floss is that it's very tiny. Floss? Yeah, it's load bearing floss. Load bearing dental floss. Check. <laughs> He's telling me there's no chance anybody's going to get injured. Nah, not at all. Okay. I mean, I see it go up. <laughs> Those are some pretty beefy springs, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. One moment. 